Our topic will be about variable separable as the first solution for the first order differential equation. So when can we use variable separable method? It is used when all the terms for y including the dy can be moved to one side of the equation and all the x terms including dx can be moved to the other side of the equation. So kung separate natin yung y sa x and dy sa dx in our equation, the variable separable can be applied. These are our examples. The first and third example has the value of x and y wherein we have to find for the particular solutions of these two while the second example only for the general solution. The first one, 2xy y prime equal to 1 plus y squared. So we all know that y prime is equal to dy over dx. So sa substitute natin siya sa y prime. Then we have to cross multiply dx sa left side ng ating equation into the right side. So that results to 2xy dy na lang yung matitira dito. Okay, equal to 1 plus y squared times dx. Then next, separate variables x and y by dividing both sides by x times 1 plus y squared. So kailangan kong tanggalin yung x dito which is kasama ng y dy. Lilipat ko siya sa kabila. Also, yung quantity 1 plus y squared ko, kailangan kong tanggalin sa aking dx. So, dividing both sides by x times 1 plus y squared, cancel yung x, cancel yung 1 plus y squared. So, yung matitira will be 2y dy over 1 plus y squared equal to dx over x. Once na na-separate na natin yung variables, so, we have to proceed with integration. So, integrate natin itong dalawang terms. So, the result will be the ln of 1 plus y squared is equal to ln of x plus ln of c. And, ililipat natin yung ln of x na ito, okay, dito sa left side para maging ln 1 plus y squared minus ln of x equal to ln of c so that we can apply this rule ln of y minus ln of x is equal to ln y over x so applying that ln of 1 plus y squared over x equal to ln of c then we have to eliminate ln using the Euler's constant okay so raising these two using e so e raised to ln of 1 plus y squared over x equal to e raised to ln of c then cancelling out e raised to ln yung matitira 1 plus y squared over x is equal to c that is the result or by cross multiplying x to c so 1 plus y squared is equal to cx that is our general solution and since my value tayo ng x and y, we have to find for the particular solution where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So substitute natin yung x and y values. 1 plus 3 squared is equal to 2c. Then 1 plus 3 squared is 10 equal to 2c. Then c is equal to 5. Substitute natin sa ating general solution. Then 1 plus y squared is equal to cx. Then, 1 plus y squared is equal to 5x transposing 1 from left to right. That is equal to y squared is equal to 5x minus 1. That is our particular solution. The next example, sin x sin y dx plus cos x cos y dx is equal to 0. So, again, separate natin yung variables x and y by dividing both sides by sin y cos x. Kailangan nating tanggalin yung sin y dito sa first term, then cos x sa ating second term. Okay, so canceling out sin y sa ating first term, canceling out cos x sa ating second term. So that results to sin x dx over cos x plus cos y dy over sin y is equal to 0. Once na, na-separate na natin, we have to integrate. Okay, so the integration is equal to the negative ln of cos x plus ln of sin y is equal to ln of 
c. Then, applying the rule for the natural logarithm, that is equal to ln of sine y over cos x is equal to ln of c. Then, eliminating ln by raising it to e, e raised to ln of sine y over cos x is equal to e raised to ln of c, cancelling out e raised to ln, magiging sine y over cos x is equal to c. Or, cross-multiplying, sine y is equal to c times cos x. This is our general solution. Next example, dr over dt is equal to negative 4rt. By cross-multiplying, dr is equal to negative 4rt times dt. Then, dito na natin separate yung dalawang variables natin, which is r and t. So, separating it by dividing both sides by r. So, matatanggal yung r sa right side ng ating equation. So, the result will be dr over r is equal to negative 4t dt. So, let's integrate. Okay, so the resulting integration will be ln of r is equal to negative 4 times t squared over 2 plus c. Then, simplifying, ln of r is equal to negative 2 t squared plus c. That is our general solution. Then, substituting for the value of r and t, r is equal to r sub 0 and t is equal to 0. Then, substituting for the values of r and t. So, that is ln of r sub 0 is equal to negative 2 times 0 squared plus c. Magiging 0 ito. So, cancelling that out, c is equal to ln of r sub 0. So, balik tayo sa general solution. ln of r is equal to negative 2 t squared plus c. ln of r is equal to negative 2 t squared plus ln of r sub 0. Then, lipat natin sa kabila yung value ng c natin. Then, applying for the rule for the natural logarithm, ln of r over r sub 0 is equal to negative 2 t squared. Then, raising it to e, canceling out e raised to ln, magiging r over r sub 0 is equal to e raised to negative 2 t squared. Then, the result will be r is equal to r sub 0 times e raised to negative 2t squared. That is our particular solution. So, if you have any questions with our topic, just comment down on our discussion section. And for our next topic, that is all about the exact equation as the second solution of first order differential equation.